There are not many places on Earth you can hook up with this, and this, and this, all in a matter of a few days. Then again, this place is like no other. Fish on! This is Quebec, Canada's oldest and largest province, and home to some of the world's most incredible fishing. From the St. Lawrence River to landlocked streams and well into the far north, the Odyssey in Quebec changes depending on where you're casting your line. For sheer beauty in both scenery and the fish that inhabit these waters, the Duplessis region of Quebec may top them all. Located in the northeast region of the province, the streams and rivers here are filled with landlocked salmon, big northern pike, and gorgeous brook trout. Gregory Cloutier of Tourism Quebec loves to chase brookies across the province's many lakes and rivers. His location today, the Duplessis region on the picturesque Canny Piscow River. Okay, fish on. Fish on, good. Fish on. Yeah, rookie. Yeah, rookie. Nice rookie. Wow, it's a yeah. nice one in addition. Very good. Wow. Nice yeah, very nice. Okay, good. What a beauty, brook trout. Yep. Wow. What a nice brook trout. So it's a very good start, eh? Yeah. Norman? Yes, perfect. I would say two pounds and a half? Yeah, two pounds. So I think it's a female, huh? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Wow, around two pounds probably? Yeah. Something oh, like yeah. that? Yeah. Good. Beautiful, yeah. Wow, yeah. look at that color. Nice color, yeah. Oh, it's a nice female. I'm very happy. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. So now it's time to release. Yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, yeah. sir. There you go. We fished in many little pools, which are very nice because it was possible to see the fish and my guide helped me to, 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 catch, to catch in the right place and the right time. So um, it was nice because it was possible to see some fish to catch uh, my lure. So uh, I, I caught a few with my spinning rod and I caught a few also with my fly fishing rod. I had a, a lot of emotion during this morning because to see those fish and I have to say that my favorite species is brook trout. So, uh, this morning, it was uh, the paradise for me. When you go in the north, you know that there isn't any pre fishing pressure, so you expect to have a very nice quality fishing, and it's exactly what we had. Wow! What a beauty! Nice color, eh? Oh, yeah! Okay, so I have a good lure right now? Yeah. Oh ho! It's at least two pounds, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. Two, two, two and a half. Two and a half, yeah. Nice meal. Okay. Nice color, yeah. There, oh, yeah. there we Wow. What a nice fish. There we go. Wow. I'm so happy, Norman. It's a very nice male. Yeah. Wow. It's exactly what I wanted. Look that color. Red. Wow. Wonderful. So wait me a little bit. I would like to have a nice picture with that. Okay, fish. okay. So we will keep it in the, in the water. Yeah. Just to be sure. Don't worry. Finally, I found a very nice place to come for fishing. First, I have been very impressed about the camps. In fact, I shouldn't say camps, I should say chalet because it's, it's so nice and in addition it's very clean. Also, the staff are very, very professional. Uh, my guide is wonderful. The camps are very well set up. Uh, the staff is very competent and very friendly. And the scenery in Sambo camps is just 
beautiful. The wildlife, the outdoors, and everything is just there at your fingertips for those customers to enjoy. Club Chambord is a very, very good outfitter. So for people who want to have a perfect trip with everything, I think it's a very good place. So Norman, it's a very nice fish, so I, I think that right now it's time to release him. Eh? Okay. Good. <laughs> good. Go ahead. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, perfect. So it's a very nice shape, huh? Yeah. Thank you, Norman. Thank you. <laughs> wow, what a nice book show. Oh, I'm so happy. Coming up, we head farther north in Quebec with former NFL star Gary Anderson. This is North American Fisherman. North American Fisherman is brought to you by Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter of hunting, fishing, and outdoor gear. By Trilene, Angler's Trust, Berkeley Trilene, Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. And by Abu Garcia for life. The province of Quebec is so large that just by riding in a place overhead, you can see what appears to be two different worlds in a matter of time. The northern areas of Quebec are decorated with huge rock formations resulting from glaciers millions of years ago. The area holds ancient stories and secrets. It also holds unbelievable fishing. Former NFL all-time leading scorer Gary Anderson fishes all over the world, but he's never had a chance to see any place like this. This natural phenomenon behind me has got to be one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my life. I'm talking about the tidal flow. As a young boy growing up in South Africa, I learned from geography class, and I've always remembered that. The largest tidal flow anywhere in the world is a place called the Bay of Fundy, which isn't too far from here. But the locals claim that this, in fact, has the Bay of Fundy beat. The difference between high tide and low tide is more than 40 feet in this area. Land formations unlike any place on Earth. Crazy tides that dictate when you can fish. And icy, icy cold water. Yeah, I want. <laughs> in that icy water is one of the most treasured fish in all the North. The Arctic char. Oh, this was just unbelievable came across this big rocky island. I'd love to know how many millions of years old this island is. And uh, I, I've never done anything like this before. Just got out of the boats behind us here and I started to walk up the, that rocky cliff and I caught a nice big char almost in every pool. It was just the greatest watching them from that high up and just looking down into that crystal uh, clear water it was just really special. Now the challenge is, how do I get down there to land him? <laughs> Can we get down there, Willie? There we go, Willie. Good job getting down there. Grab it. Nice, eh? Oh, what a beauty. <laughs> Good job. So what was that, Willie? Yes, sir. Your skin is very clean. Yeah. This side is different. Yes. She came up here. Sometimes an otter. An otter? Uh, yes. Wow. Right. And he managed to get away, huh? It's still coming through, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. If he got away from an otter, we need to let that guy go. This may be the highest rock I've ever caught a fish on in my life. I'm going to go try that again. <laughs> Just the remoteness of this place. I mean, when you look in every direction, I mean, uh, from what I understand, there was a herd of caribou on this hill behind us early this morning, and uh, I think you could stay your lifetime and you'll never see another person. It's just, I love that feeling of going to a remote place to catch fish. Oh, I, I was amazed by the way that the strike, they were so violent on the strike. And the other thing that I've been amazed at all afternoon is uh, their endurance. I mean, you'd fight a nice fish for sometimes 10 minutes and he was fighting just as hard until you got him right in the net nice. as when you hooked him. Nice little char, couple pounds, two pounds maybe. Oh. 
go and grow up a little bit. <laughs> the thing I'll never forget about this fishing trip up to the Arctic Circle is the remoteness and the vastness of this land. And I'll also never forget about this tidal fluctuation. I've never seen a place in my life where the tide goes up and down about 40 feet from high tide to low tide and your entire fishing trip is completely 100% controlled by this tidal fluctuation. I like this place. Quebec is a dream destination for many anglers. In other parts of Canada, they're well known for their giant northern pike, their salmon and walleye. But in Quebec, the key is variety. I'm Laura Shera, and this is North American Fisherman Clubhouse. Fishing Quebec is like fishing saltwater in a place like the Florida Keys. There are so many different kinds of species to fish, and that means so many places to experience. It's amazing this far north to find so many luxurious lodges and outfitter camps, all on lakes, rivers, or streams that offer so much good fishing in the vast lands of Quebec. If you're looking for great fishing adventures, the North American Fishing Club is a great place to start. The club is designed by anglers for anglers. If you fish, this is the place to be. Members of the NAFC can field test gear through our new Stuff Stuff program and get access to exclusive deals. Now there's a free and easy way to jump on board. Just log on to fishingclub.com backslash free magazine and sign up for your free subscription to the online edition of North American Fisherman magazine. North American Fisherman is offering you a chance to fish with our guys. Wow, what a fish. Hey, I'm Eric Hottie with North American Fisherman. Do you want to come up here and fish with me? No, no, no. Hold on one second there. I'm Captain Tyler Capella. If you actually want to catch some trophy fish, you got to come down to sunny Florida and fish with me. How about a huge smoker kingfish like this monster? You can sign up at North American Fisherman's Facebook page, or you can go to fishingclub.com to sign up for a contest to fish with myself or Tyler Capella. Plus, everything is included, hotels, flights, a chance to see this. Hey, it's up to you. All you have to do is enter. Go to fishingclub.com or like us on Facebook for your chance to win. Coming up, what's lurking beneath the surface that threatens to destroy the water you fish? Find out on Silent Invaders, up next. the boat motor and this moves the fish and it moves them into the net. We have one biologist on board and then there's a commercial fisherman and a deckhand. Part of our job is to make sure we don't have a threat to Lake Michigan. Normally, loud noises like this will drive tens of thousands of pounds of fish a day into a commercial fisherman's net. But there aren't many fish in this part of the canal. So when they do catch one, they're happy it's not a species that isn't supposed to be here. The canal is part of the Chicago area waterway. It's the only link between the carp infested Mississippi River Basin and Lake Michigan. That's why a multi-million dollar electric barrier was created along this route, keeping the carp from swimming into Lake Michigan and ultimately the entire Great Lakes system. But it was in the spring of 2010, a big head carp was caught beyond the barrier here in Lake Calumet, dangerously close to Lake Michigan. So the Illinois DNR continually samples the water beyond the electric barrier, looking for evidence of Asian carp. And they regularly find it in the form of environmental DNA. Lake Calumet sample once a month. There's been numerous positive eDNA samples that have come back. But discovering eDNA in the water doesn't necessarily mean the presence of live Asian carp. These samples here are actually uh, silver carp DNA that's present in the water samples. And what this suggests is that DNA can potentially pass through a bird. John Amberg is a research fish biologist at a unique invasive species research laboratory, the Upper Midwest Environmental Sciences Center in La Crosse, Wisconsin. We have a long track record of, of positive work with invasive species. The center hopes that its intensive research will someday allow eDNA to be used to accurately detect areas where aquatic invaders are migrating, a technique that's never been used before. If we're actually successful, um, it completely changes, it could completely change the way that 
invasive species is, is managed. In the meantime, the center is faced with an intriguing mystery. Is there a population of Asian carp that have infiltrated the multi-million dollar electric barrier? Or is the eDNA they're finding in the Chicago Canal and Lake Calumet coming from bird droppings after eating carp for a meal? They hope to find the answers using the most sophisticated forensic science techniques. What we're trying to do is ultimately make this tool as powerful of a tool as, as it could possibly be. It's literally CSI on water in the never-ending battle with the silent invaders. This is North American Fisherman's Field Test, powered by Stuff Stuff. Everything you see here has been tested and approved by members of the North American Fishing Club. If you want the latest in new gear, this is information you can trust. First up from Line Cycle Fishing is the Line Snatcher. Keep old fishing line out of our waters, and don't let used line junk up your boat or your tackle box. The Line Snatcher makes recycling used fishing line that much easier. Club member Adam Walters wishes every fisherman would use one of these. It's so easy to use, and it keeps old fishing line out of our waters. Next is Abu Garcia's Promax Baitcast Reel. It has seven stainless steel ball bearings for smooth operation, plus a graphite frame. Club member Gary Good said the Abu Garcia Promax Reel is one of the finest reels he's used in 50 years of fishing. To learn more about these products or to have your gear field tested, join me at fishingclub.com. Field test, powered by Stuff. North American Fisherman is brought to you by Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Quebec, providing emotions since 1534. Berkeley Gulf, alive. Looks alive, feels alive, tastes alive. And by Hobie Fishing, powered by Mirage Drive. Up next, Not War's Light. And then we head back up to Quebec with the winners of the Fishing Club's Ultimate Trip Giveaway. I would recommend to anybody to come up here and take the fishing trip of a lifetime. When North American Fisherman returns, Here it is, Knot Wars, where we pit two fishing knots in a head-to-head -head competition of strength. Now, we're in the midst of a line-to-line -line knot war right now. Last week's winner was the uni-to-uni -uni knot, and this week's challenger is the water knot. I'm excited to see which one comes out on top. Now, remember, this is Knot Wars light, because we're using a six-pound fire line as our main line, and a six pound 100% fluorocarbon and eight pound Trilene XT is our leader material. Now to get you started on learning about these two knots, let's show you how to tie them. First, the uni to uni knot. Overlap the end of the leader material and main line about six inches. Take the tag end of the main line and bring it toward the middle forming a loop. Then using the same tag end, make six to eight turns through the loop and tighten by pulling on the tag end. Repeat steps two and three with the end of the leader material. After moistening, pull the standing lines in opposite directions to slide the knots together. So there it is, the uni to uni knot. As I said last week, it's one of my favorite line to line knots, but I'm excited to see how this water knot is gonna stand up. So let's show you how to tie that one now. Starting with two parallel lines, use the tag end of each line to tie an overhand knot around the other line. Then, using the remaining tags, make three wraps above each overhand knot. And, similar to the clinch knot, insert the tag end between the first loop and the overhand knot. Tighten carefully after moistening a bit. There it is, the water knot, this week's challenger. Which one will come out on top? Let's find out. Here we are at the Berkeley Knot War Machine. I'm ready to find out which of these knots is gonna be this week's winner. The water knot here on the right, or the uni to uni knot here on the left. Let's do this. Whoa, the water knot broke first. The uni to uni knot held up again this week. That's two weeks in a row. We like it because of that, but we also like it because it works great with fluorocarbon. Now it's going on to next week to face yet another challenger. And this time it's the J knot. Now, I think the J-Knot stands for justice. Will the uni to uni knot face a little justice next week? Tune in to find out. Now, to learn how to tie either one of these knots, just head on over to our website, fishingclub.com. Or better yet, download the Knot Wars app on your smartphone. Knot Wars, 
because no good fish story ends with a broken knot. Hi, I'm Marty Austin. I'm the grand prize winner of the Quebec Ultimate Destination Giveaway. Tina and I have been up here in Quebec for 10 days and we are having a ball. My favorite part of this whole trip is catching that northern. <laughs> it was so much fun. I love Canada. I would recommend to anybody to come up here and take the fishing trip of a lifetime. I never thought in a million years I would win this contest, but we did. And now we're big believers of Canada fishing. We love it up here. We come back in a heartbeat. At Taggart Bay, we have a very easy access to Lake Kippo at the north end part of Lake Kippo, and that's where there's only a few outfitters, uh, no private cabin, just a few outfitters. Naturally, it's very exciting for us when our name is chosen by the winners to, to come to Taggart Bay. It's always a big plus to get new people in the game and get more people up in Canada. And Western Quebec has always been known for uh, his great walleye and northern pike fishing. We try to have the best of equipment, the best of cabin for them when they get here, and uh, all of this in the natural surrounding of Lake Kippewa. I would recommend this as a husband and wife getaway or even a family trip. It's all beautiful. You'll have a great time. We love it up here.